Hey gang, uh, today we're going to do the first solo to the song Spooky by the Atlanta Rhythm Section 1979, a fantastic solo, um, and a, it's a great guitar song. Um, if you want the other solos, just ask, and uh, if you really want them, then we'll do them. Okay, I got the tab to this one, I'm going to put it in the descriptions down below, and uh, as usual, if you liked it, click the like button, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these every week. Okay, gang, here we come, note for note, with what I just did. See you in just a sec. All right, gang. Let's go over this note for note, but before we do, just a couple of things. First is the sound. Uh, this one, I'm not doing anything really special to approximate this song, this sound. The only thing I'm doing is I'm obviously I'm playing on a Les Paul, I'm playing out of the bridge pickup, and uh, I'm using a Vox AC30 model with the gain really cranked, kind of like a Brian May type sound. And um, the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get that uh, those really sustained vibratos that he uses. Um, throughout that song. Well, you can use what you want. All right. So that's the first thing. Second thing is the chords. Um, the chords are basically, if you want to improvise, now it's, it's really hard for me not to improvise over this song. Um, and if you listen to, uh, on YouTube, you'll find some live versions where the guitarist is clearly improvising over this. Um, <coughs> if you want to improvise, the chords are F minor 7th and B, B 13th. Or B 6th, whatever. Uh, those are basically the same chord. Um, now, two scales that you can use to improvise over that uh, pretty well are the F minor pentatonic. And uh, that sounds great. And uh, another scale that really sounds great is the E flat major scale. Um, and uh, or you can think of that as the F Dorian mode if you want to. Those are basically the same. Um, and it sounds great. All right, on to the regularly scheduled program let's go over this note for note now first thing first I want to play the whole uh, the whole solo I'll try and play it slowly um, uh, first and then we'll break it down in chunks so here's a whole solo kind of played slowly uh, starting out from the third string fifth fret <laughs> first chunk and that's going to start out at the fifth fret third string and uh, I'll just play it really slowly and you've got the tab to help you out so here we go <laughs> some things to think about in that one as you slide well you see I slide I slid up uh, to that and it's over when, over that key change when the uh, when the singer's singing spooky it's he slides up to that and uh, there you go on that one the other thing a uh, couple of other things one is um, you want to put a little vibrato on whenever you have a little bit of a break so even like this All right something like that and uh, this one right here very typical maneuver where you're going from the 10th to the 8th fret pulling off to the 6th. That's on the 4th string. 
very typical bluesy sort of maneuver uh, that happens in that one. All right, so here's the chunk again. Oh yeah, the other thing is, on this one where you're playing on the seventh, bending up just a half fret, and pulling back down, um, there's some live versions where he just plays it straight, like this, and puts a little vibrato, and then there's some others where he does a pinch harmonic, and um, I don't know if that was accidental or what, but it kind of sounds very cool, very 80s, even though this was like 1979. So if you can do that, sounds good. Put a pinch harmonic on that. All right, here is the second chunk, way up here at the 13th. Oops, I'm sorry, let me play that again. Okay, so basically it's just a repeat of that, but you're doing it up an octave. So it's going to start out on the 13th, um, play the 15th, and then again you're going to play the 16th. And I like putting a lot of vibrato on that. And then you're going to play, um, a lot of this solo is based on this bend here, 3rd strings, 15th fret. So that's a typical double stop there across the 13th on the 2nd and 3rd strings. Smearing that 15th on the 4th fret. All right, here's the next chunk. Okay, so that next chunk, um, it's, it's hard for me to remember it. I gotta play the uh, previous chunk to get it. Okay. Um, so it starts out by doing this, uh, and that's just, uh, as you might expect, you're bending up a half, or a whole, a whole step, I'm sorry, on that, on that 15th, pulling it down and bringing it off to the 13th. And he, he, in the solo him, itself, it's hard to hear it slowly when you're playing it, but he plays a lot of notes just a little bit too close. A little bit of off time. Instead of, he's playing. Instead of, in, uh, let's see if I can hear that hesitation. He plays, instead of this, he plays, you know, plays them a little bit bunched together, which is kind of cool. All right, so here we go. Here's the next chunk. All right. For this one, he's shifting down just a couple, and uh, he's playing it on the in the tenth position instead of the the thirteenth, uh, and it's almost reminiscent of like a major pentatonic, but it does still fit into that E flat major scale. So here we go. Um, um, Let's see, it's uh, so slide up to the 12th and play that 10th on the third string, and then you got this uh, double pull off once from the 13th and once from the 12th back to the 10. So, and then this is a little bit unique, he's playing the 12th and a half, uh, a half fret or a, a half bend each time. And then a standard pull off here. All right, here's the last part right here. All the way up at the 17th, we're going to slide back up into our 13th position. So 
So this one, <clears throat> you slide up on a third string to the 17th, and we're going to play basically a blues scale. This one actually does fit really well in a minor pentatonic, F sharp minor pentatonic. But anyway, here we go. Slide up to the 17th, 16th, 15th, 13th, 13th. So again, it's like this. Okay, then 15th, 13th. On the fourth, and then you're going to play the slide up from you play the eleventh to the twelfth. This is kind of a jazzy sort of sound, and then the fifteenth. So we're sliding eleventh to twelfth, then fifteenth, and then double stopping on the on the fifteenth with the second and third strings. Okay, so you're playing on the fourth, uh, eleven, twelve, and then fifteenth, and then you're double stopping on the fifteenth on that. Back to the 15th. So the first time it's a double stop. I'm, again, I don't know if it was a mistake and he just wanted to play on the third string and play the third and second. Who knows? Um, but um, second time around, he just plays that 15th note. That's something to note. I don't think it really matters that much because uh, it sounds cool either way. But in any way, here's the, the whole line. Alright, so he ends up on the 13th on the 2nd fret. So that's that same smear. Okay, and then the last line is simply this. So you're hammering on 13th to 16th over and over and over again, and you're just doing a trill. Hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off. got to play it pretty fast. And when the feeling's right, you just slide up to the 18th and play that 18th. Slide down off it. And that's it, folks. All right. Well, you got the tab to help you out, which I, I hope will instead of my going over. And then you pull off on this note and so forth, just to speed it up and make it a little bit easier. We'll see you on down the road. Hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you next time. Bye.